Alright, so, uh, I love Miko music. Uh, I discovered this man through the video where Kodakai breaks into his house, and I decided to check out his music, and oh my god. I have never had any interest in pop music until now. This man's music is just on a lot of level, I swear. Uh, he's released uh, four EPs, with the fifth one said to release in less than two weeks from the from recording this. Actually, it's exactly two weeks. <laughs> and oh my god, am I excited! Uh, I've done my fair share of album reviews in my day, so I thought in celebration of Internet Hometown Hero coming out on October 25th, let's rank all the songs on my favorite EP of his, The Tears We Fight. Without further ado, let's go. This is every song in Tears We Fight ranked. I wonder if I peaked in high school. Cause all my friends say I'm better off. Do they know what I do? Number 7 goes to the first song of the album, which is Peaked. Now, one thing that Miko is pretty much known for is his vocals. In most of his songs, the vocals are the biggest highlight, which also applies to pretty much everything in this album. However, these vocals only really work when paired with a good background instrumental, for lack of a better word, and Peaked simply lacks that second part. For most of the song, it's just a couple guitar chords repeated, only really picking up at the very end with a really good solo. The problem is, the solo is too late into the song to make much of a difference. Still, listen to this, this is so damn good! And that last left is just so damn good. It's easily the best part of the song, it's just sad that it's in the final like 20 seconds or so. Overall, it's just a bit too slow and gets up too late to have a lasting impact. Number 6, and the last song on the album, Bruise My Face. This genuinely sounds like the most generic pop song of all time. That's my main problem with it. By the time I got to this one, I had already listened to about half of Miko's catalog, and man, all of them just have a specific feel to them that is just emblematic of Miko's music. But this is just so generic, even in the lyric department. Like, come on, Miko, what is this? It's overall a good song, maybe a bit too long considering it's um, at three and a half minutes, which is uh, definitely one of the longer ones in this catalog since most Miko songs are around two minutes to two and a half minutes, maybe even the occasional three minute or every now and then. So, three and a half minutes is kind of a lot. Even though it is objectively better than Peaked, I don't know if I prefer Peaked or this. I think it's just my tolerance to the genericness of the song being really low that lands it so far, because every single other Miko song has a special feel to it except for this. Yeah, whatever, moving on. Alright, no more songs I either dislike or think are subpar. Now the actual good stuff. Prove me wrong. First of all, best Miko music video. I don't even think I need to say that. Also, one more thing, I will not be putting any of the music videos in here. You will have to go watch them on your own. They're really good, trust me. Maybe the only one that comes close to this one is Lie Lie Lie, but this, ha the this one has like special effects and all that. Well, yeah, it's just so fun. I love it. Uh, the song itself now, it's catchy, although it starts with probably the worst part. The vocals in the first verse are designed in a pretty different way when compared to the rest of, honestly, Miko's discography. He sings it as if he's gasping for air the entire time, which is definitely weird. Same goes for the last couple lines, but that's honestly fine, since it works well as the last couple lines well. The instrumental for this one, holy shit, the normal verses aren't anything special, but when the chorus hits, man. Uh, the second verse the second verse is pretty much the first verse, plus some more instruments, which is nice. The electric guitar during the second half is, like, the best part, I love it. Uh, side tangent, 
I don't get Miko's obsession in his newer songs to use as little instruments as possible besides the big drop at the end. Like, come on, more instruments equals more energy, which means better song for most of his catalog. Exceptions being stuff like Another Soul. Speaking of which... I needed someone who cared, you needed somebody there. I said things I couldn't bear for anybody else. I wish I left it alone, cause now I'm needed to know. Is I the one or just a feeling for another soul? Another soul. Oh my god, I love this song. You remember when I complained that Peak takes too long to pick up and is overall just too slow? Another soul is peaked if it was good. This song works so well with its, well, rather slowness, just, oh my god. The vocals and lyrics in general really make the song here. Also that drop after the chorus hits, holy shit, the instrumental here is pretty basic, guitar solo drop, pretty minimal in the actual verses, all that stuff. I still cannot stress how much I absolutely love the lyrics and flow and pretty much everything about it. The top three are fundamentally better songs, but Another Soul just does everything so perfectly, at least in my eyes. I also think its position in the album is really nicely thought out. It starts off slow with Peaked, then this, which is definitely faster than Peaked, although still pretty slow. Then it throws into the super energetic songs, Bad Notes, Prove Me Wrong, and Maybe I'm the Problem Now. Then M.I.A., which is kind of its own thing, and then ends off with Bruise My Face. Actually, I forgot to say this during Bruise My Face segment, but that song is a good ending song to the album. Peaked is also a good introductory one as well. The general placement of every song is good anyway, another soul. Yeah, I really wish I could have ranked this higher, but sadly I can't. Still amazing though. Bad note, yes! This song is so fucking good! The first couple lines have just the electric guitar, but then after that the drums are added in, and this becomes one of the most energetic songs on the album. Right there with Prove Me Wrong and Maybe I'm the Problem Now, this is probably the most formulaic Miko song in the sense of the instrumental beginning is just guitar, then guitar and drums, first drop is only guitar, then guitar and drums for the rest of the song, except the very end and right before the final chorus. Speaking of, the chorus is probably the best part in this entire album, yeah I said it, maybe the only thing that can rival it is um, M.I.A. The entire middle chunk of the album represents everything I love in Miko's music. It's all very energetic and the vocals are all super good to go with everything else. Also, as far as I know, this is the only Miko song to have the lyrics baked into the music video, so that's a neat little touch. I know it seems like I'm just endlessly praising everything here, and I am. I genuinely have no complaints for this song. I don't even care that Miko commonly reuses lyrics since his entire music is based on the general vibe it gives off and being extremely catchy and energetic. Another side tangent, Miko can't really seem to make sad songs because it almost never turns out well. 20-something suffers from bad vocals during the high notes and Senses takes an entire minute to go somewhere. I still love Senses despite that though. Anyway, bad notes. Yeah, just an awesome song. There's two more that are even better though, so let's get into those right now. I'm the problem now. Probably the most iconic song off the album. While Another Soul is by far and away the most popular, this one is the most emblematic Tears We Fight song. If you were to ask a Miko fan to name a song off this album, they would either say this or prove me wrong. And it's definitely deserved, this song is fantastic. It's easily the most energetic song, and the instrumental just never goes down a notch after it picks up past the first chorus. It's probably the song that's most likely to get stuck in your head after you would listen to it. I think this is also commonly thought of as the best Tears We Fight song, and it's really close to it, it's just so solid. Once again, the music video also helps breathe a lot of life into the song, while well, probably my least favorite music video off of the album, it still has so much character. I just like Bad Note and Prove Me Wrong more. 
There's not much to say about this song, I haven't said about the others so far. It has the energy of Bad No and Prove Me Wrong combined with the flow of Another Soul. It's just goddamn maybe I'm the problem now, come on. Now, is everyone number one pick for best song off of Tears We Fight? And if you've been keeping track of the songs in your head, you know exactly which one it is. Here we go again, did it mean it go? Yeah, there really wasn't much of a competition. M.I.A. is a lot more like a song off of Second Thoughts than Tears We Fight, but goddamn it if it isn't good. It's the only pop rock song in the album, and it's good. Really good. The verses aren't really special, they're just kinda there. The chorus though, like, oh my god, I don't know what to say about it other than I love it. And while I definitely agree that there are other songs in the album that definitely have more effort that was put into them, M.I.A. definitely seems to be the fan favorite, and many people's favorite Miko song in general. It was also, as far as I know, the first song of the album to release, and considering Miko said in a short that he'd been teasing it for about a whole year, it definitely seems like a song that was supposed to be on second thoughts but made it into tears we fight for some reason. I know I haven't been talking about the song itself, and that's genuinely because I just don't know what to say about it, it's just fun. It's a pretty basic, but what can it do? Sometimes the simple stuff is just the best. Here's the final list for people who skipped all the way to the end. Thanks for watching, goodbye.